heavyweight matchup between Bruce Lee and New Jersey's Jim Miller. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, Ladies he and is gentlemen, Bruce this Buffett. fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 32 wins, 15 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Jim And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick up fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. Oh, yeah! Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Big kick. He loaded up that right hand, too. Miller goes for the takedown, he misses. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And both guys really throwing with authority. Had a big knee to the body. We'll see if he can follow up. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Good right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick clock there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just misses with the jab. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Battling for hooks. Straight punch lands. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, 
collar tie. Huge knee lance from Inclo. Can't take many of those, you better check. Beautiful body kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. A nice combination of strikes there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Miller gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, big punch land. How about that shin? Got the single collar tie. Effective use of the jab there by Miller. Get out of there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Outstanding kick there by Miller. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. And he landed the right hand there. And now he's got that tight punch. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Miller gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Tags him with the left. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Back and forth we go! Look at the control of the posture as they land that deep. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Miller's got the tie clinch now. Takedown defense holds up. Miller gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he's caught. Oh, is he hurt? Oh! Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He takes all of that kick. Every time he pulls. Miller gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Lands the right hand. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Hey! Finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Millers has got full mount now. 
All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. You can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking. And he's Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight. And he continues to work the body here. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with his beautiful leg kick. Oh, and he lands the leg kick. The stats are in his favor when it comes to that strike. Big kick land. And they separate. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he secured his takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice strike landed there by Miller. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now. Because he's got his opponent very, very bad. Whip his hip into that kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Clipped him with the right hand there. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Miller. Ooh, what a punch. Into that leg kick. Oh, beautiful level change. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job. Wow. And just like that, the fight is over. Loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his